James Dagen joined us and he put us through our paces in terms of exercising, getting our bodies, treating them right to make them look very, very good. And now he's here to talk about his book that involves the clean and lean diet, but it's called Clean and Lean. I'm gonna put it over here for life. The cookbook, 150 delicious recipes for a happy and healthy body. And I'm so excited to talk to you about this right now. Thank James, you, James, welcome too. to the show again. Earlier we saw you take uh, uh, Zoe and Katlejo through their paces. Yes. I want to know more about the book. I mean, you're into fitness, you've trained many famous people. How did you get into fitness in the first place? It's something that's always been a big part of my life. And uh, my why has always been that I wanted to change people's lives. That's why I do what I do. And uh, I'm really proud of what we've been able to do. Yeah. And what have been some of the challenges that you faced having to put a book like this together that kind of, I think, promises people a healthier, longer life? Look, I guess it's being a sane voice in a lot of craziness. The wellness industry, or it's pretty sick at the moment. It's a lot of based on shame and guilt. And a lot of young people, especially women for some reason, their relationship with food is based on shame and guilt and their relationship with their body is based on shame and guilt and I want to change that um, because it's quite a sad thing to see how many people are damaging their health with craziness. I'll say this again, if it sounds crazy, it is crazy. Don't do it, you're worth more than that, trust wow. me. I love that, if it sounds crazy then it is too good to be true. Yeah. Most of us seek balance. That yeah. word alone makes us want to run a mile because we're all seeking balance. Yes. But how do we do that? I mean, we've got a whole lot of people watching this morning that would like to change their lifestyles. How do we create balance? Is there still time for a little sweet treat? There's always time for a sweet treat. <laughs> um, look, life hopefully is very long. So be kind to yourself. Choose foods that work for you and make you feel good. And once you understand that you deserve a happy, healthy life, because a lot of people don't think they do, which is really sad, once you understand that, all of your choices become easier and, and you really will instinctively go to things that work for you. Yeah, speaking about that, because there okay. are you know, all these kinds of different propositions by people saying, try this, try that, and yeah. there'll always be a divide because for some people it works, for some it doesn't. So yes. what are your views on that? What does work? Look, it's about listening to your body, tuning into your body. If someone tells you to eat nothing but protein and fat, it's not going to work long term. You know, eventually your body will break. And so you've got to be really sensible about this. It's, it, it's a matter of life and death. So don't do anything crazy. Don't do that stupid stuff because it's, it's, it's not designed to make you feel better in the long term. Yeah. And to be honest, the best way of losing weight, which is a lot of what this industry is about, is to actually focus on your health. Yeah. Okay, well we are focusing on health this morning. If you want to get your hands on a copy of this book, how do we do that? How do I find it? I'm not sure. I think it's in all good bookstores, even some bad ones. Uh, <laughs> you can get it online. Um, there's one here if you want to come. We can chat about it. I don't know. But, Where's your uh, accent from? Uh, raised in Australia, lived in London. Okay. Yeah. I'm to sorry. I apologize <laughs> as well, I'm sorry. The question you were referring to earlier on about Instagram, why Look, is it, oh, no, not necessarily Instagram, but online. All you know, social kind of, media, yeah. listen, there's no accountability there. There's crazy things being said by people in bikinis. I've worn a bikini, it didn't work for me either. You just gotta be so careful. Please don't take your nutritional advice from uh, someone on Instagram. Be kind to yourself. If they're telling you I'm strong, not skinny, but they're emaciated and super skinny, Ugh. they're hijacking that message. You've got to be careful. Please change your life and do something sensible. Trust yeah. me. Well, I love I'll what he said this morning. You must take good care of your body, otherwise you'll break it. Absolutely. Don't yes, break your true. body, okay? So the book <laughs> is called Clean and Lean for Life and you can get your copy at www.cleanandlean.com. Right now, over to you, Graham.